Hey all, this is Amy and I'm Akrina from Langford International Academy. So today we are here with a role play. In this role play, the patient is a two-year-old girl who is being discharged from the hospital following a leg fracture. And her mother has some doubts regarding her aftercare. So Ms. Annie will be playing the part of the nurse and I will be the patient. So let's see. So this is your cue card and we have three minutes to prepare. Click it. How can I address the patient during my own leg? The patient's name is Leah. Okay. Contract, your time starts now. Good morning. I am Amy, one of the digital nurses working in this emergency department. Am I talking with Leah's mother? That's right. Uh, well, how can I address you? You can call me Sarah. Okay, Ms. Sarah, I'm here to discuss the discharge plan. Discharge of your child, Leah. As you're aware, she's being discharged uh, today following the leg fracture, and Leah is being fitted with an about the knee cast. So, first of all, could you please tell me what you know about the aftercare of your child? Um, oh. Well, the only thing that I know is the cast should not be damaged by any way. Okay, uh, don't worry. I understand that you don't have a clear picture about the aftercare, but don't worry. I will give you a clear, uh, I will give you details about how to take care of your child at home. First of all, always seal the cast uh, with a plastic whenever your baby takes a shower. And also, it is important that you prevent her from itching or tremoring over the affected area. And it is very important that you keep the cast clean always and keep her leg elevated and prevent any kind of weight bearing on the affected leg. And it is paramount to limit the limit her mobility as well. By following all these measures, she will, Leah will have a quicker recovery. Uh, are, are you willing to follow this? Well, the thing is, it, it will be you know, hard in order to prevent my daughter from trying to walk. Like, I think it will be impossible to monitor her all the time. Yeah, it is quite understandable, Miss Sarah. Like, it, it is a very natural thing for a two-year-old two girl uh, to trying to walk. But uh, it is important for her recovery to limit the mobility. And don't worry, I will give you some measures. First of all, I can inform you that because of the cast, uh, it would be difficult for her to move with the cast. It is difficult to move in the upright position. And it is, uh, it would be easier for you if you keep the baby on the floor always. And the other things that you can uh, employ is read and play with her always, like, and love her attention. Uh, is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's uh, fine. Okay. And there are some other strategies as well, like um, you can always repeatedly explain to her why she shouldn't try to walk with the cast. And um, also try to keep her in the pram whenever you go outside. And uh, there are some other measures as well that you can try. And I can give you a pamphlet containing all the information. So you can uh, try all those strategies. And if you come across any queries about the strategies, you can always contact me. I'll have the sets out. Well, that sounds actually great. Okay. And uh, do you have any questions? Well, I do. So is there any particular symptoms that I need to watch out, like in case of the recovery? Yes, I understand, Ms. Sarah, that you're really worried about your child's uh, recovery. Don't worry. Uh, I can give you more details about the symptoms that you need to watch out for. In case if you notice that your child, Leah, experiences increased pain or there is swelling over the cast area, as well as if the color of the toes changes into blue or white and she has some inability to move the toes or she experiences numbness, pains or needles, make sure that you contact the doctor immediately or return her to the emergency department so the necessary action can be taken. Will that be okay for you? Yes, that would be all right. And uh, is there anything else that is blocking you? Um, the thing is, uh, like, you know, there are a lot of things to manage, so I'm mm -hmm. not really feeling very overwhelmed. Yes, I understand. Being a mother, I totally, I can totally relate to the thoughts that you are having right now. I understand that it is a very challenging and a very difficult situation for you to cope with. But let me tell you, there are a number of uh, support groups or support networks that are available to take care of your baby with us at this stage. But before we uh, move to that, I would like to know whether there is anyone in your family or friends, uh, like your spouse or family, who would be able to take care of your child for a short period. Well, my spouse works away a lot, so I will be the sole carer. Mm -hmm. How would I can ask my mother? Oh, if your mother is available to, to take care of your child uh, for a short period, that is really good. So you will be able to manage uh, uh, the care of your child with the help, with assistance from your mother, definitely. 
And along with the ND also, you can employ in the care strategies that I have mentioned earlier. So that it will be manageable. So you don't have to worry. You can just relax. It is going to be all right. And I say anything else that you would like to know? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm clear about everything. Okay. In that case, I really hope I have clarified all your concerns and doubts about your child's condition. As well as I hope that the strategies that we, that we discussed are clear to you. And in case if you come across any concerns or queries about the condition as well as about the strategies, you can always contact us. We are here to provide, with an, provide you with the necessary assistance. Thank you for your time. Thank yes, you. Thank you. So that's the end of the role play. And as you know, today we did a non-case. So whenever you come across a non-case, make sure to ask the name of the patient prior to the role play and note it somewhere. Otherwise, there is a possibility that you might forget the name of the patient. And for more videos like this, don't forget to follow that Langford International Academy. Thank you.